At five, I'm Ken Rice. Their response to the attorney general publicly announcing a criminal investigation. Finally, Nicole Ford is live in Beaver County. She's spoken with residents, families, and the AG. Nicole. Ken, it's been five months since Jody Gill has seen her father. During that time, he's tested positive and recovered from COVID-19 here at Brighton. But she says now she wants accountability. So she's sharing her story with investigators in the AG's office. It's a facility that has made headlines. On May 28th, my dad tested positive. To date, nearly every resident inside Brighton Rehab and Wellness Center tested positive for the virus and 73 have died. Everybody knew and um, and nobody did anything and people died and our loved ones have suffered extensively and we have suffered extensively not being able to be there to help. Jody Gill started sharing her dad's story with an investigator in the attorney general's office back in May. The emotionality of what we have gone through cannot be quantified in any way, um, but in order to make true measure change, there has to be facts. Nearly three months later, the AG confirmed Brighton Rehab is the subject of a criminal investigation for neglect. We think the public can really help us in our investigation by sharing information uh, about what's going on in Brighton. And so that's why we've confirmed this publicly at this time. Shapiro says his office has set up an email for family members to contact them with their concerns like Gil has done. The stories we're learning are heartbreaking, um, but my job is to see if there's criminality. Uh, and to make sure that uh, you know those who engage in, in any sort of criminal wrongdoing are held accountable. He tells me that he can't comment on a timeline for the investigation or who could be charged if criminal neglect is found, but the family members believe the problem starts at the top. I think that the head administrators um, need to be held accountable, um, and I think the ownership needs to be held accountable. Now, Gil went on to tell me that she's hopeful this investigation will bring long-term change to Brighton. Now, I did reach out to those administrators here at Brighton Rehab for comment, but I did not hear back. Reporting live in Beaver County tonight, Nicole Ford, KDKA News.